Hello friends. In this session, I will be discussing differential diagnosis of mass in the right iliac fossa. So, these are the 9 regions of abdomen. For examination purpose, the abdomen is divided into 9 regions and 4 quadrants. What are the 9 regions? We have right hypochondria, epigastrium, left hypochondria, right lumbar, umbilical, left lumbar, right iliac fossa, suprapubic or hypogastrium, left iliac fossa. These are the 9 regions of the abdomen. In this session, I will be dealing with the differential diagnosis of mass per right iliac fossa. So, what are the differential diagnosis? We can see appendicular mass or abscess, carcinoma cecum, ileocecal tuberculosis, amoeboma, SOS abscess, lymph node mass either from the mesentric or external iliac nodes, any bony swelling, ectopic kidney, undescended testis, usually abdominal, actinomycosis, Crohn's disease, iliac artery aneurysm, ovarian swelling like ovarian cyst, tubo ovarian mass and uterine mass. These are the differential diagnosis of right iliac fossa mass. One of the important differential diagnosis is appendicular mass. Usually it is smooth, firm and tender and it is well localized. It has distinct borders and it is not mobile. It does not move with respiration. On percussion, usually it is resonance. Appendicular mass is the one of the important and most common differential diagnosis of right iliac fossa mass. So, what is the treatment for appendicular mass? Whether we can do appendicectomy? We cannot perform appendicectomy in appendicular mass. We need to follow a regimen that is auctioner sherin regimen. We need to monitor the patient and we can do interval appendicectomy after 6 weeks. Next one is appendicular abscess. It is the complication of appendicitis. Usually mass is smooth, soft, tender and it is dull mass. It is not mobile and it has indistinct borders. On percussion it is dull. How to differentiate appendicular mass and appendicular abscess? In appendicular mass we have distinct borders whereas in abscess we have indistinct borders. Next one is carcinoma cecum. It has usually nodular hard mass. It does not move with respiration. It is mobile but mobility may be restricted when adhered to source muscle. On percussion it is resonant or it has impaired resonance. There can be features of intestinal obstruction. What are the symptoms of intestinal obstruction? We have omitting, pain abdomen, abdominal distension, constipation. These are the common symptoms of intestinal obstruction. Next one is ileocecal tuberculosis. The mass is smooth, hard and non-tender. Usually on percussion it is resonant. It does not move with respiration. There can be restricted mobility. Cecum may be pulled up to the lumbar region due to fibrosis. Amoeboma. There may be history of dysentery and pain in the right iliac fossa. The mass is smooth, hard and well defined mass. It is non-mobile. It may or may not be tender. Soas abscess. It is usually localized, smooth and soft. It is non-mobile. Soas spasm may be seen which is typical. There is flexion of hip joint. Spinal movement is restricted. Spine may shows gibbous, tenderness and paraspinal spasm. So, these are the important differential diagnosis of mass per right iliac fossa. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.